Hi guys, and today I will be reviewing or looking at this um, special wagon, if I'm honest with you. Uh, this is the Hornby Only Fools and Horses van. Uh, I think it's a vendor van, I think it's a southern one. It looks like a southern one to me. And it's in a BR yellow. So this could possibly be era 4 or 5 or even later. Um, so yeah, this is was announced a few months ago. Uh, I was really excited about it. I wished Hornby would have done something like this um, in 2021 when they announced the scale electrics they were doing for uh, Only Fools. Um, and yeah, so they've done one in collaboration of the Only Fools and Horses um, Appreciation Group, or Society I think it is. Um, so yeah, and I think this is limited to a thousand units. So yeah, let's get into it and have a look, shall we? So I thought I'd show off the um, wagon the box itself. You see, it's made by Hornby, as you know, and it's an Only Fools one, and it is limited edition. Um, so I think a thousand I read somewhere. Um, it's got Only Fools branding everywhere you look, uh, and uh, Trotters Independent Trading stamps. And on the back, there's a lovely uh, backstory, um, which is nice. Nice of them to do that. To go, that go that far. It does say. Thanks to Monkey Harris and a storage shed down at Chatham Junction, Trotters Independent Traders have now entered into the age of the railway or train with their very own rolling stock in this vibrant BR yellow, um, which is nice. You don't have to do that. Um, and you also have a picture of the three of them, which is Rodney, Dell, and Grandad. So, yeah. As we look at the front or the back of the vent van, I think it's a vent van anyway. Uh, they're both exactly the same. Um, the livery is this vibrant BR yellow. Um, it's all over, it's very nice, very trotterish. We do have some metal woodwork, along with some woodwork as well. Um, it is nice, it is there. We move down a little bit to the black, to the buff beam area. The buff beams are uh, moulded in one piece, um, so is the hook in the centre. But we do have a big decoupling, which I believe is changeable. Too. As we move on to the side of the fan, both sides are exactly the same. On the roof we do have some rain ducats and the roof is in a grey black colour, can't decide which colour exactly it is, but it is nice. We do have the um, Trotter Independence Trading logo with uh, New York, Paris and Peckham on the side, which is crisply printed, may I add. Um, so is the BR yellow uh, that the delivery of this thing is. We do have some dolls which are, I believe, moulded. But it is nice. We have some metal work too, dotted around the place with some rivets. Moving down to the chassis of the wagon, it is plastic, but there's a few moulded stuff there, like the axle wheels and a handbrake. It's all there, but it is nice, and we have metal wheels to go with it. As we move to a bird's eye view off top of the vent van, I believe this is a southern style one, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, there's not really much to look at. You can see a bit of a the rain ducket is where the doors slide in and out, that's about it, but like I said, the colouring is either black or grey, I can't really work out which one Pacific it is, but it is nice, it is basic. And finally, we do a bird's eye view underneath look at the chassis, like I said before, it is plastic. You can see the um, BBC um, copyright sticker there, um, it's, it is plastic, we do have um, Changeable couplings to do pull out, which is good. Now that these big fat ones, if you don't like them, you can change them for something else. We also have some plugs, so you can change the chassis of the wagon or vent van to something else if you really wanted to. And make it into a, li a line side hut, maybe, I don't know. I think that it's not really much to look at. It's an old moulding, but it looks like old tooling, but nevertheless, it's still fantastic to look at.
So yeah, guys, that's the end of the running session. Just give you my opinion on the um, van. It's very nice, a uh, little basic, but you know it's still a collector's item to anyone. Um, I really like it. I'm really glad they made one as well. Um, the logo it ran with um, is a Lord Nelson class. Um, you can just see there, uh, Lord Rodney, or Lord Dave as I call it. It was appropriate to run it with it. Um, I did want the uh, Terrier Peckham, but not released yet. I did promise the guy who um, got these commissioned uh, that I would uh, tell everyone where to buy them from because I know not everybody is on social media. Um, so you can buy these from um, Del Boy's online shop, I believe it's called. Um, also their eBay uh, link as well. Um, and I'll tag in anything else that they run from Twitter to Facebook for anybody who wants to keep up to date with them. I don't receive anything from it. I just It's a nice gesture because I don't want anyone missing out on uh, these because these do appeal to collectors um, of railways and um, sitcoms. It only falls, uh, like I said, a limited edition of a thousand, so I believe. Um, the paint does remind me of a certain episode, um, and that is episode, I think it's, uh, series 2 episode 5 I believe it is um, and it's called Yellow Pearl uh, basically the Rodney and Del Boy uh, get the offer to paint the Chinese and Del Boy goes to buy um, goes to paint his mum's grave and Trigger tells him where he got the paint from uh, which was British Railways and it's a luminous as well for uh, signs in tunnels I believe so yeah uh, this does give me more hope in the future that we will get to see some other Only full stuff from Hornby or even some other sitcoms like Dad's Army. I uh, could e easily do a Dad's Army one um, and even a Heartbeat one, Ag Agent Field, same sort of thing. Uh, but it does give me more hope we might get a few more uh, Only full stuff to add to the collection or anyone who collects uh, this sort of stuff. Um, so yeah guys. Uh, that's the end of the review and a little bit of chat at the end from me. And like I said in the link in the description box down below will be everything where if, if you want to go and buy one and if there's any left at the time of recording, there was. Um, so yeah, please enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Please take care. Bye.